Woo. That didn't work. Okay, now I'm going to stand here. And I'm gonna, uh, you'll hand me those things as I need them. Bye. Brian? Are you ready to be baptized? Not too sure. <laughs> My friends, we gather and ask the Lord to bless us as we recall the scriptures and we recall the lives of the saints and our lives as, as origin. And now we begin by calling upon the saints. As we call upon the saints, we remember our roots and we ask you to respond with, pray for us, O Lord. Holy Mary, Mother of God, St. John the Baptist, St. Joseph, Saints Peter and Paul, all the holy men and women of our faith, Almighty and ever-living God, you send your Son, Jesus, into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, and to rescue people from the kingdom of darkness. Bring him into the splendor of your own kingdom. We now pray for this child, Brian. Set him free from original sin. Make him a temple of your glory, and send the Holy Spirit to dwell within him. We ask this through Christ, our oil, our Lord. Now, the first oil we use, there are three, is the oil of, here we go, not that one. That's the oil, we don't use that one. Holy oil. We're going to bless Brian's chest, so I'm going to reach in here. And we ask the Lord, as we anoint him with the oil of salvation, May the Lord strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Don't touch me. <laughs> That's it. You can cover it. <laughs> Lord, you, we ask your strength upon Brian in all things. And now we ask the Lord to bless the water we have here as we will use it as a symbol of our own origins in baptism. Lord, you use the sacrament of water to give divine life to those who believe in you. Okay. Let us turn now to you and ask you to pour your gift of life from this font on this child who has been chosen. Oh, wow. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the water of baptism rise with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And now before we actually baptize Brian, we renew our faith and our promises, and I invite you as the community of faith to renew your promises as well. And so, do you reject Satan and all of his works and all of his empty promises? Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, who is now living with us in glory at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and everlasting life? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church, and we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And now his little cousin will hold this, and you're going to hold him over here. Face down would be probably better, whichever way is comfortable. What's his middle name? James. Right. Oh, good. And he's reaching into the water, and his middle name is James, and of course James is one of the early, prof, uh, early apostles, and he's the one who's mentioned in the Acts of the Apostles letter today. Good, you like that, huh? Brian James, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay, give him the towel. Godmother, dry his head. And now the second anointing is done with chrism. So it's O-C. And the chrism is the oil that consecrates. It, the origin of the word chrism is uh, anointing. It's the origin of the word for Christ, who is the anointed one, or the Son of God. See. Yes. And in the Christian life, Altars, churches are consecrated with chrism, priests at consecration, confirmation, and of course baptism. The Christians are confirmed with the oil of chrism. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you, Brian, from sin and given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and welcomed you into his holy people. 
He now anoints you with the oil of gladness as priest, prophet, and king. So may you live as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. And now Grandma has put together a little white garment. <laughs> you should have seen the, the, uh, the challenge I put her through to get the white garment. So usually we put a little bib on the kid. That, the bibs don't fit him. So she made this beautiful scarf with a little cross on either end. I don't know how she did it, but um, she's going to make a vestment for me. She doesn't know it yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have um, Godmother put this around his head, around his neck. Brian James, receive oh, the white garment because now you have clothed yourself in Christ. And see in this garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring the dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Jason, the Godfather, will now light his small baptismal candle from the Paschal candle, which represents the presence of Christ resurrected among us. The Paschal candle, of course, is used during the Easter season and then used at baptisms and funerals, symbols of the transition into new life. On behalf of Brian, you ain't going to get that candle, kid. You can look at it all you want. <laughs> it's being given to your parents and godparents, and this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. Brian has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the light. And may he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. And when the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Got a cloth. The Lord made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good, good. It's a lot easier with a baby, let me tell you. Uh, may he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith and praise of God to the glory of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now, Dad's already holding him, so I'm going to have to hold a little higher. You have put on Christ, and him you have been baptized. Congratulations. Good job. Good job. You were wonderful. Now, the, it's a tradition with the candle, load it out carefully, uh, to light it on his anniversary of his baptism each year. So, Godfather, it's your job to put the date of the baptism on the box and give it to the family. And now we ask the Lord to send his blessings upon the family gathered here. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has sent us Jesus Christ, the Virgin Mary's child, and has brought joy to parents as they see the hope of life shine in their children. May he bless this family as you raise Brian James through Christ our Lord. Amen. Congratulations. We have a new Christian. Take a seat. And since we did the prayer of the faithful through the baptism, 